Hi, George here. And we're gonna be doing some cleanup on this photo, mostly removing that couple in the background, but also fixing the shadows down here. This is a composite image that I found online and it has some problems. First off, notice the shadows are all going at this diagonal down here, except for the girl's shadow there is going straight across. So that shadow shouldn't even be there. Over here on the right hand side, we have this tree in the background, another tree trunk over here in the front where it's been cut off. And if we zoom in, you see that his heels are in front of the foreground tree. So that has to be blocked. I also notice that there's no shadow coming off of his foot. The shadow shouldn't be over here. It should be over here. So we'll fix all that stuff. And then if we zoom into the back over here, notice that this couple in the background was also placed into this picture. They're not actually standing on this surface. There's no shadow from them at all. The shadow should be coming across here. We should be seeing a shadow here, a shadow from him over here. So there's no shadows on them. So they're obviously just placed in the picture as well. Not a big deal. We'll take care of them and then we'll fix the shadows over here and it should be a much better picture at that point. Okay, it's gonna look like this when we're finished. There we go. Okay, I'll get rid of that layer and we'll start the project. The first thing you want to do whenever you're doing this kind of a photo retouch project is to make a copy of your background layer. Right click right on the name, background, and duplicate layer, choose okay. And then hide that one. That's just a safety in case we mess up. We can always go back to that and start over again. We'll start off with the couple in the background and I'll just zoom in on them. Kind of like that, that's okay. If you hold the space bar down, you can pull the image around. Then I'll grab just the standard lasso tool here, and I'll do a quick lasso around them just a little ways outside. Don't go right up against the image. Again, hold the space bar down to move that while you're working this thing, and this up around this side over here, space bar again. I can bring the mouse button held down as I'm doing that. Back to your beginning point. There we go. Let's just zoom this back out to fit screen. And we'll go up to edit and come down to fill selection. And I always start off with trying the content aware. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes I need some cleanup. We'll see how it goes here. Choose OK. And there we go. It removed them nicely. Get the edge of the bridge nicely in here, but this area back there is not what it needs to be. It looks kind of weird. Notice how it should be kind of faded out back in here and it's not. So we'll fix that. Just zoom in. Again, spacebar, and I use the Control D keyboard shortcut to deselect. So it's okay over here, a little bit messed up right there. That's looking fine. It's too crisp in here. And if I go up here, you can see it should be kind of faded out right there. So we'll just take some of this and pull this straight down. And we'll also fix this bit over here. This is all clone stamp work. So I'll take the clone stamp tool. I'll use the left bracket key and bring the size down. And let's fix this a little bit right here first. Now you hold the Alt key down to find where you want to clone from. Click on that point, let go, and then come down. You can see that's what you're cloning from and kind of positioning it. And I'll just come down just a little bit like that just to fill in that little spot. And that's good. Okay, now I'll go larger on this. And that's the right square bracket key. There we go. Again, space bar. And let's just grab something right up in here. Alt key again and click whenever you see that kind of a symbol in there. It means I'm holding down the Alt key, and then I click, let go, and I'm back in the clone stamp. And I just want to bring this down and get rid of the stuff in there that's in focus where it shouldn't be. And we'll do some fix up on this once this step is done. I just want to get the in focus stuff out of the way. Kind of like that. And a little bit on the bridge, I think, right in there. Okay, now let's take some of this tree and we'll pull the tree down. I want to bring it down right up against this edge. So for that, let's make a selection. I'll change my tool here to the polygonal lasso tool because I want a straight line across here. Let's go over here and I'll click right there. Pull a straight line across just like that. And then up and around. There we go. And back to the beginning point. This becomes a protection mask so I can work inside here without hitting anything outside, mostly for the bottom section right there. Get back to our clone stamp tool. And in here, again, I want to get some of this stuff in here. Hold the Alt key down and just take that edge. I just want to bring the edge of that tree trunk right down against the edge of that bridge. That's good. That's now Control D to deselect. And now I want to get rid of this in focus stuff here. I'll go to the other tool because I want a bit more freehand. 
and I'm going to come down just along this edge and just follow that and match that edge. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just kind of waving the mouse around just a little bit right down there. And then bring it across the edge down here again. And up and around and back to the beginning point. Okay, I can now go back to the clone stamp tool. And stick some more of this stuff in here. I'll click and I'll just pull it in like that up against that tree. Okay, that gets rid of all of that in focus stuff which shouldn't be there. So it may be a little bit over here. I'm just going to freehand it over here. And I'm going to bring my size down. This time I'll just use the slider control here, bring the size down a little bit. That's better. Now, this tree ended up being kind of offset. We can fix that. Go over here, Alt, and click into the middle of the tree. Bring it down. You can see where that tree trunk is. Just line that up and pull straight down, down until we come into the other tree right here. And let's just clean that out. Do that one more time. Right like that, and that's good. And a little bit in here. Okay, that tree is nice. It's a little weird looking right in here. There's a tree in behind there, which is kind of overlapping that. I'm going to copy that. I'll click. Let's just bring that down just a little bit in here and kind of fade that in. And I think that looks better. Let's zoom out, see how we're doing. Okay, much, much better, but it's kind of repeating in here and I don't like that hard line right down there. Let's fix that. I just want to get this thing to fade into the background and fade away. Because all this clone stamping do have some repeating patterns, so let's go back to the clone stamp tool. Go a little bit larger on the size. Let's first take care of this. I'm going to grab some of this stuff right here. And I'm just going to pull this in a bit more randomly over here just to break up that hard line. That's good. And now I'll come in here and grab just a few things and take out some of the stuff that's the most obvious to minimize this repeated look. So we don't have anything obviously repeating in there. And I think that looks pretty good. Be a little bit right there. Okay, I think that will work for us in the background. Little spot right there I don't like. Again, the focus is wrong on that. And I think I'm going to come in here and do just a little bit right against the edge of this tree. Just soften down that edge of the tree just a touch. Right there, a bit of fog happening back in there. I think that looks better. Okay, we'll look at that again. And that works. That old couple has been removed. If you want to, you can bring in some more branches in here just to kind of hide some of that again. So back to our clone stamp tool. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to grab right up in here. I'll click up in the middle of that tree. Let's bring down some of those branches right in here and just pull some of those right across like that. And a little bit larger on my brush size. And put a bit more of that right there. And then I'll fix that one tree trunk again. There we go. Just some more stuff in here to help break up that area so it looks more natural. All right, now let's take care of the shadows over here on the couple. Just click into this. A few things. Notice that there is kind of a fake shadow put in here. Not done too well because she's bending backwards here. She's not bending backwards in the actual photograph. There's a double shadow happening here, which is wrong. This is the original shadow here. And then they place the secondary shadow on top. So this is too dark. We need to soften that down. And of course, there should be a shadowing on over here from his foot. And his foot should be in behind this tree stump in the front. Let's take care of this tree stump first. I'll grab that lasso tool. Let's go over here someplace and I'll make a line where the tree stump should be. Back around. There we go. Back to our clone stamp tool. It's too large again. Left bracket to bring that down. And just grab something in here and go right over that bit there. Okay, control D. That takes care of that. His foot is now in behind the tree stump instead of being in front of the tree stump. That's better. A little trickier here, trying to match these values. I'm going to try to just grab a little bit of this and pull it up into here. Maybe soften it down a little bit might be the best way to go on that. Again, bring my brush size down, Alt and click. And let's just try to soften that edge down. And that may be all that we need to make it look more natural. There we go. I think that's beginning to work. Okay, that's better. And up in here again. Now the 
actual edges have a bit of a softness to them, not too much, but a little bit. The smaller your brush size, the harder the edge, the larger the brush size, the softer the edge when you have it on a soft brush. You need to find just the right amount. And it looks like that's pretty close. And I'm just going to follow along in here and get just a little bit of that softness in there. Now the actual shadow comes right down to here. So I want to get rid of this bit. That's all incorrect. And again, I'll use the same brush, go up in here someplace, Alt-click, and I'll come right along that edge, right there. There we go, that gives me the edge for the shadow. I can now go a bit larger on the brush. Again, right square bracket, Alt-click, and let's come in and just take out that shadow, which is in the wrong place. Take that out, there we go. And a little more cleanup along here. Some darker colors in there and a little bit of this color pulled in here from the other side. And I think that works. Hold the space bar down. And let's now move this shadow from here down a little bit over to where it should be. So I'll hold the Alt key down, come right down here. First, I'm going to get rid of this thing. That's going to cause me problems. So I'm just going to clone stamp over that little bit of the thing right there. That's good. Okay, I'll click in here. I'll click. And I'll bring the brush down here. Now, I need to have it up against his foot here without going into the foot. So let's make another protection selection. Again, just the standard lasso tool right along the bottom edge of his foot here. And then along this edge of this tree stump right here. And out and around and then back to his shoe again. There we go. Back to our clone stamp tool. And the angle is correct. That angle matches the angle up here. You can see that angle right there. We're fine. Just come in here someplace, Alt and click, and then bring that shadow down so it's about where his heel would be, which is ending up in here. So about like that is where that shadow should be. And I'll just pull that straight down. It'll take a couple of shots to do this. There we go. Notice I can clone stamp from outside of the selection that only goes into inside the selection. Right, Control D to deselect. That fixes that shadow. And let's see how we did, fifth screen. And there we go, much better image. We got rid of the distracting old couple back in here, so we're now just focusing on the younger couple in front. We've fixed that heel down here and we fixed the shadows. And there we go. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click share, click subscribe. My channel is 100% fan supported, so if you want to help my channel out, take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that in the description. Also, if you want to support me on Patreon, there's a link for that as well. And I want to thank my current Patreon supporters, Eternity Mine, Steve Jazz, and a new supporter, Bad Wolf. And a special thanks to Mr. Moon Pie, who just signed on as a booster. Thank you all. Your support is really greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next time.